time to get back on the trail. Well, I feel better about getting up earlier. It wasn't actually that hard to get up, but not gonna lie, I did hit snooze twice. Eric squared. Yeah, with, uh, with Eric Smith. I guess we walk all the way down to that bridge here. Oh, yeah. There's aqueduct pipe. Woohoo. For Eric and another giant leap for the PCT. On the aqueduct. Woohoo. <laughs> Wild. Wild, wild stuff. Yeah, just giant pipe with all these rivets. <laughs> Jeez. Kind of follow this for a while, don't we? Yeah. This is what comes out of the mountains. This comes out of the Sierra. Millions and millions and millions of gallons per minute. All the way from this year. Yep, all those big aquifers or uh, uh, um, reservoirs up there. Yeah, amazing. All right, it's 7 a.m. on the 11th of June, and Eric's up ahead. We are walking in the aqueduct section. We're a few miles in, got started about 5:30, and uh, yeah, it's going good so far. You can see the aqueduct right next to me, pipe, and uh, just going straight for a while, and then we'll curve to the northeast, up into those mountains up yonder. Joshua trees, big thick grove. Most of them are pretty young. Yucca brebifolia. Got two two liters of water on me right now, and that should be good to last us to the next water source. It's so cool and windy this morning. Wind's coming out of the southwest. So it's kind of propelling, propelling us forward. It was kind of cold earlier, but as you can see, I got my jacket and my wind pants off now. Uh, I'm starting to get a little sweaty. The sun's out, uh, but it's still supposed to be relatively cool today. Only getting into the mid to high 60s. And uh, we'll have to say that new rain jacket I got, I do not like it. It doesn't cut the wind like the Gore-Tex one that I have back home. I'm going to switch that out. I'd rather just carry a little bit more bulk. At least it uh, cuts the wind. I don't like the way it fits more, so I'll just go with that. Anyways, back on the trail, as it were. Where's the Lorax? All right, just did our, did my first 10 by 10, 10, 10 miles by 10 a.m. Although we might have, we might have done 10 by 10 when we did the California 2 highway, but I'm, we don't know. Now we're gonna turn and head, gonna kind of curve around here a little bit. Begin. Begin our approach into the mountains in earnest. <laughs> Some fruit pods or seed pods or something up there.
Man, these things are so big. There he is. Uh, we just got done with our break, so we're heading out. Nice. Oh, you got the camera, nice. <laughs> Vibram soles. <laughs> Just don't stick your uh, trekking pole in the dirt too far. <laughs> Out of the wind farm. We're going all the way up there. Thank you, campsite. We're all ready to go. The Air Canaric Express back on track. Nice creek here. Nice peaceful spot. What is this? The Hatchapee Willow Springs Road 16. 16 miles to camp today. So today is Monday, Monday the 12th of June, 2023. It's about, about 15 after eight or so. Got le left right around eight o'clock from camp. A little later today than normal. After Early start yesterday, 5:30. We left Haiku Town. But uh, shorter day today, only 16. Not like a 24 like we did yesterday. So <laughs> did that 10 by 10 yesterday. My guess is we'll be doing 10 by 2 today. <laughs> so it's all right. Unless we're moving along, I'm only hobbling a little bit. My uh, left ankle or left uh, heel is loosening up. My right one's already loose. It takes a little bit to uh, loosen up in the morning. Uh, once I get more blood flow and moving around, warmed up, everything's pretty much fine for several hours until starts stuff starts to hurt a little bit. But yeah. Great views, you can still see the, the fog over the mountains. But moisture never got here. We had some brief thunderstorm activity, some storm clouds go over just to the northeast of us when we were at Cottonwood Creek for lunch yesterday. But we never got any precipitation, never even came close to us. So. See what the day brings. There's a nice stream filled up with water, cameled up. I came from up there. Now I'm going way up over there, buddy. 16, 1700 feet. Got to climb. So it's going to be a big one. Get the party started. Might uh, throw in the earbuds here. And, uh, Get some pumping tunes.
Was it? You're in luck. Oh, hey, how's it going? So let me give <coughs> give me a quick tour of the 549 bar and grill, <laughs> mile 549. Um, got a nice little uh, water cache here, and the guy who runs it, uh, I think his name is Ray. Um, he was just here dropping off some water and some trail magic. Um, so what do we got? Very important for through hikers. Trash receptacle. Yes. Now there's a hiker box. Some people, you know, can drop their stuff in there. There's a log book, of course. We got a pantry. I ate a couple of those oranges. Some kind of crumb cake in there. Oatmeal. Got a couple of those peanut butter cheese cracker. Sandwich deals. There's a cantaloupe in there. In here is a cooler. Nothing in there right now, but uh, there was a part of a cantaloupe and this right here yeah some seltzer water yeah anything with bubbles mm. oh, something you don't normally get on the trail oh yes must have seating and they do have an umbrella which was deployed but we uh, closed it it says filtered spring water and i got a couple barrels of it more bottles in the cache there lots of water this is kind of a dry stretch so very important and nice little uh, hangout spot so everyone else left I'm just the last one to leave time to move on to, um, make it either close to Tehachapi or into Tehachapi today see how it goes 1252 and uh, I think I got about six seven miles left so I might go into town we'll see oh and I can't be remiss if I don't mention uh, a couple more things number one donations yes I did make one um, most people don't, and so when I can, I try to. Um, but they also have a Venmo. Mile 449 PCT, at mile 449 PCT. And then, see, it's not very hot. It's only like 60 some degrees. Uh, so it's really nice when the sun is behind the cloud. So, yeah really got fortunate it's actually almost chilly uh when the sun's behind the cloud when the sun's out ooh, it's hot uh, but it's also breezy right now too so i'm gonna get moving and we'll uh check you later
Well, it's Wednesday, June 14th, about 8.40 a.m. I'm about to head out and uh, try and get to the trailhead and do a slack pack uh, eight miles from Willow River trailhead where I got off up to the Highway 58 overpass, that's eight miles, and then come back into Tehachapi here and then head out, make my way to the trailhead at Highway 58 tomorrow morning and head north towards Walker Pass and Kennedy Meadows. Very nice day out. Could have some thunderstorms later, so I'll bring my rain jacket, but uh, I'm sure it'll be more like very localized. Uh, I got the gear explosion going on. Got my resupply kind of figured out. Got a package at the post office here in Tehachapi. I would not recommend sending a package there if you have to walk there. You have to contend with traffic. It was a good mile and a half each way from my hotel, which wasn't too bad, but contending with the traffic was the big thing. So be warned. But it wasn't it wasn't the worst thing. Yep, here we are. Let's uh, get this party started. Purposely stayed an extra night to uh, give myself a little bit more chance to rest. Uh, yesterday was my zero day, and all I did was walk around. I still probably walked seven or eight miles. Walking around, get my package, going to Walmart, had some food at El Taco Superior. One thing when you're eating all this backpacker food, probably shy away from the super spicy stuff because boy, it does not agree with you after a while. So. Paid the price for that. I got a good breakfast in the morning to kind of settle my guts again. So, all right, let's, uh, one last look at the room. Kind of a mess, but you know, what can I say? This is, uh, got here on Monday. It's now Wednesday. All right, well, I just got dropped off by the bus here at uh, the Highway 58 overpass. And now I'm going to, uh, gonna go southbound today. First time doing South going Sobo on this trip, but uh, made sense because I could get the bus out here and it looks like it's a hell of a, well, I know it's a, it's uh, easier to hitch um, at that Willow Springs, Willow Springs Road where I hitched in from before. So I'm gonna go hike back to the spot where I got off the trail before. And uh, it seems to make the most sense. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's where we're going. Ooh. Yay, they got the fans turned on. Woohoo! Keeping it cool with the fans turned on. All right. Another great day in the PCT. <laughs> slag packing her. First time slag packing, first time Sobo. Let's do it. Got Shadow with me today. Hi guys, it's me, Shadow. Very different carrying a super light pack. This route means I have to uh, climb a lot more instead of descend, but whatever. Climb a thousand feet, over eight miles, not a big deal. This has been mostly flat so far, so first mile. All right, I think we're gonna hop back onto the trail. Point five miles left. <laughs> yeah, that's where I started, and I went. That's what I did. Now I'm up here. All right, that can't be safe power line is like touching the ground I wonder if it's live I ain't gonna stick around and find out Yikes. kind of an interesting bridge right here huh. I don't know if they're gonna do some repairs or what yeah. cool You know what this means. If I fits, I sits. 
Ooh. Yeah. Ah, it's quite the view. Very brown, shades of sage green, darker shades of green, some yellows, a little bit of purple to go with my yellow. Thank you for having the fans on. You're cooling me down. He he he. All right. Enough of a rest. Gotta keep going. All right, just gotta go Ooh, over there. Yep, right over there. You can see the highway up there. Sorry about the noise, but it's wind noise. In the hydro pee. Yeah, it looks a bit rough over there. That might be those thunderstorms they're talking about today. And I'm almost done. Most of the road. And I'll uh, get me my, hopefully get a hitch in uh, not too long. Uh, I'll be there in uh, less than a half a mile, it sounds like. All right, done with my slack pack and immediately got a hitch back in. And who was waiting there was uh, Nicole slash Radar from Grangeville, Idaho. Right on. So now it's uh, take a shower, do some laundry, and go to eat. All right, see you.